right. Just... Whoa. What the hell? There's actually an achievement for that? It's mildly hilarious. Whoa. Oh yeah, this thing's going down. God, there's so many people. Move on. Shit. That could have gone better. My God, there's so many. So many flames. Ow. What the hell? Apparently there was somebody behind me. Jumping through the flames like a madman. Who do you think you are, me? Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. We're good. Kind of. This place is still collapsing on itself. That was a weird noise. Oh, God. This whole place is coming down. Yeah, I thought I saw something else I could loot. Is this freedom? Nope. Intruder! Now jump, stand still, or I slid her drop. So, you came for Anna. Very heroic. Yeah. God damn it. Why? Why did you do that? Hurry! I thought I had a we chance. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't. There's Hansa and our men. Suffocating would be a real shame after surviving all that. Pieces of the puzzle are falling together. And the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable. I will tell the others about this, but I still can't make myself believe it. The Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya, a peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything, with an unknown deadly virus. And then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic and eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed, but we don't know if we're going to survive for long. That's a pretty messed up situation we've got ourselves in now. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. 
empty and cold, as if I were just a spark from the fire flying away and then gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom, but I want to feel that I'm alive. Touch me. So once again, I am going to have to censor that. Apologies, but again, can't take the chance. Well, hmm, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Artyom, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. Oh, thank God. So we're not infected. Cool. So I guess... Just... Alright. Nothing more to say after all of that. Don't look there. What's that, Papa? Nothing. It's all right. Just don't look. When are we going to go home? Soon. Very soon. <coughs> Damn. Where did they take her? Mama's home already. <coughs> we'll be with her soon. I miss her. I want to go see her now. You will. But but in just a little bit. God, that's messed up. More packs left. How listen, how much do you think we can use up in one day? Not this much. There's almost no new patients. As if the old ones don't need that. And how many live to become old ones? Well, less and less of them are dying. So perhaps it's come to an end. Hmm. <laughs> Who's that? Can you see the face? As if... Looks like... Eight bucks. <laughs> yes, it's eight. Simetsky, Yuri. Can you used to say he that live us all? <laughs> well... All bets are off now. They're going to cut away soon, too. You're damn right. <laughs> God save me, please. <laughs> God save me, please. <laughs> God save me, please. God save me, please. God save me, please. God save me, please. Well, ain't this just a bright and cheery place to be? Is that where I have to go? No. The hell's that? Oh, God. Reds did all this? Sons of bitches, man. Hey! Anybody? I will say, this game does a damn good job at, uh, setting up its atmosphere. It's dangerous. Give me! So? What do I do now? What do I do, doctor? Well, you know the prospect as well as I. I know. I know, but still. You were instructed on the safety precautions. On the gloves, on the mask. 
You signed the papers. Yes, I, I did. But the kids, how was I supposed to talk to them with a mask on? They were scared. They were crying. Yes, but you didn't save them, and you doomed yourself. We're short on people as it is, Pridurak. You could have helped so many. Yes. Yes, I, I could. All right. We'll start the symptomatic treatment and see where it takes us. A mild form has cropped up lately. There are even some cases of recovery. Let's be optimistic. <clears throat> be on your way. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's get out of that area. So, I don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Perfect. Now, you take the temperature every hour. Blood samples every three hours. Call me at once, should any parameters deviate from the pattern. Of course. You see, there's only been two cases with good prospects so far. We must study them carefully. Yes, I understand. Great. Huh. Just want to make sure I'm not heading the, the correct way right away. Well, what's there to do? They got off easy, but we got to pack all that. Yeah, then yeah, what's the point, huh? Should just burn it with the corpses and be done with it. They say it's to find the source of infection. Bullshit, if you ask me. No way to do that now. Well, those at the top know better. <laughs> the guard room is that way. All right. I was just eavesdropping, like I do. So, is the epidemic slowing down? Looks like it, but let's check the facts. What do we know? First of all, the new samples all show acute monocytosis. True. Samples 317 to 323, monocytosis. Yet we already know the virus targets monocytes specifically. It always did. All the previous samples only have neutrophils of the nucleus. This can only mean one thing. The strain is becoming less virulent. But let's not rush to conclusions. We'll check the rest first. Hmm. Interesting. So, were you able to isolate the agent? Yes and no. It is an Ebola virus strain. Trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically non virulent now. Without the elite. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Colonel. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus. It's wild form. It remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time and then turn harmless. Damn this. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons? My god. Just in case, I have some Rangers questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the Metro. Hmm, yeah. I already know. One of the crates that Slesnitsky took from that, uh... That we got from D6. The chemical weapons and all that stuff, that's what he was... That's what he got. Now it's up to me to tell everybody. Uh, that's great. I'm Note. 
The Reds were quite possibly hoping to enter a station completely wiped out by the virus, but it took too long to do that and they got impatient. They did not just wait for the outcome, they hastened it. The survivors say that when the purging of the station started, the Reds allowed some supposedly contaminated locals to escape to the neighboring station. The... Yeah, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna try. Sorry. That place. But those escapees were closely followed by an execution squad. By the execution squads, rather. If not for a team of order fighters who just happened to be at... Colt Sev... Colt Sevaya. Colt Sevaya. Sure. At the time, and repelled the Reds... <clears throat> God damn, my voice is weakening. And repelled the Reds. By now, they would have been... They would have been two stations, and Hansa would be cut in half. But the Order managed to avert that. Really happy for you. You'll just stay here for a day, your cold gets better, and we'll let you go back to the others. And why would I? <coughs> you sit here because of a simple cold? We're going to make sure it's just the cold, and you're free to go. But I've had this call for a long time. Other than that, I feel great. Oh, that's just perfect. Means we've nothing to fear. Means that the day after tomorrow, you can go back. Why not now? Well, it's the rules, you know. You also know what happens to those who break rules here, don't you? I do. Huh. Mild cases are cropping up. I wonder why. Seems way too early. Could this be weapon grade strain? But where from? Well, I'll leave you to think about that. Alright, here we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Come through. Yes, you. You can come through. Thanks. What the hell? I'll see. I'm not holding any. Whoa. Just take it easy, guys. Yeah, I'm not holding a direction right now. My my fingers are completely off the keyboard. This is what I was talking about earlier. But if... It's acting as if I'm holding down W right now. But if I double tap W, it stops. It's weird. It's really, really weird. I don't know what causes that. And it happens with multiple... Uh, directions, WASD. It's really bizarre. I'm gonna have to look into that. Where am I going? Oh, more shrooms. <laughs> Artyom, I'm here. There he is. I'm happy to know that you and Anna are all right. We can't afford to waste time being sick now. The dark one we're looking for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. I have to go, but I have to go back for her insult. Die without it. Yo, boys, I'm here. I can't let you go. How can we buy anything when all we had is back there? And Hansa charged you so much. Please. Hansa gave you shelter. Stand back. Don't do anything stupid, man. Huh. Yes, until reinforcements arrive. All right. They aren't going to start shit while we're here. But there's something on my mind. What? The epidemic? No. It's the fact that they got here in the first place. Why are they so active lately? Why so many patrols? Why send a squad to a plagued station? Would they be gearing up for another war with the Nazis? Doesn't look like it. They'd concentrate their forces at the Reich border then. But now they're spreading them thin. A demonstration of force? Who needs Sparta now when the Reds are solving all the problems? Could be so. 
sure thing. They won't be able to replace us completely. But putting some pressure on their superiors, that they could do. Well, let's leave and see. Damn right. Huh. So, so what about my luggage? What is it? Read the pamphlet again, or listen to the broadcast, for Christ's sakes. They've either been disinfected or disposed of. But they... they took everything from me. Where's your stub? What stub? When they took your stuff for disinfection, you signed on a card and were given a stub. Where is it? Ah, that one. Here. Well, it's a big-ass stub. Is, and you took so much time. I, I'm sorry. Thank you. sure we're lucky, because Tomlin's Rangers were here. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be there. So, the stuff's still there? Of course. What were you thinking? I was thinking you had the brain to take something with you. What prevented you if you're so smart? Don't snap at me, brah. What do we do now? What else? Sit on our asses. And if they come to collect, we just tell them where. Let them collect themselves. And the red? Well, they could move out before that. Yeah, right. Looks like they're there for good. We'll think of something. It better be fast. Let's think then. Uh, well, I don't know. Shit. Some thinker you are. Huh. Well. Hansa could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees and the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Sorry, that's forbidden without a permit. That's our man. Let this one through. He got a permit. Stock up on filters and ammo, Arthur. We probably won't have such a chance anytime soon after this. Really? We sure got lucky the Rangers were here. Why did they fight anyway? What do they care for us or the refugees? That's what puzzles me. Where's the profit? Nobody signed any contracts with them. We didn't even promise anything. What were they thinking? Nothing. It's their job. The Polish Rangers were doing stuff like this from the very beginning. What? Fighting the Reds? Nah, if there's an epidemic, dangerous mutants, anything, then Polish sends the Spartans to handle this situation. And what's up now? They came because of the epidemic, but we already set up the quarantine and the Reds cleared out the source. So they helped us out so that the Reds don't get too enthusiastic. And what's the profit Polis is making here? They're far from here. The epidemic wouldn't reach them. The states had that arranged long ago. Polis handle stuff like this, and nobody touches them. They're neutral. They also handle negotiations if there's a war or shit like that. Ah, I get it now. I see. Don't start a war, but benefit from the results. Yes, that's good business. Sure, but we're not doing commerce to make a loss either. Sweet. You play them tunes. Let's gear up. Uh, let's see. Sell all the ammo that I'm not using. Bolts, huh? Right. Well. What's the max amount I can have? I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Shotgun is what I really need. There we go. Alright, there we go. Maxed out on ammo. Just as I should be. Another book. Advertisement. Artyom. Take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. 
and they are generally quite reserved with their man. Perhaps they are aiming for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at Polis. Oh, damn. Going into the tunnels with this dude. This is gonna be interesting. In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. Oh yeah, let's do this. We've got that going. Open up. Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline, and Reich will meet in Polis, hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. But I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Huh. I could use a new gas mask. Well, we won't catch the train with the dark one moving the tunnel. Look at this thing. But there is another way. Is there? All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the interline tunnel for me. But the interline is a dead end and very dangerous. A dead end? No way. That's our road to Polis. Open up. I hope you know what you're doing, man. Wait. Let's go. Wait. Oh, I can't go up here. Well, I can, but there's nothing. All right, let's go. As you see, careful with the generator. That's just what the Hanser authorities plan to discourage me from entering the passages. An unprepared man could easily lose his way here even become lost within himself. But as long as you're with me, there is no danger. The hell's going on in there? Most people believe just tunnels and stations. Huh. A lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the metro. A few people who come upon it I call it the river of fate because it can change your destiny, wash away the silt of the past, and offer the chance for a different future. If a man enters this river in dire need of such a chance, wishing desperately to earn it, then he might be carried to the place and time where that chance is granted. This place is pretty cool looking. Remember, we must find the Dark One. It is the only thing we are to ask, River. The Metro is a living, breathing thing. With a heartbeat, a soul, and a mind. <laughs> 